Cuando crecíamos, queríamos ser como los Young Boys Incorporated. Uh, I have the opportunity to see a couple of, of, of the episodes of this series. Uh, and, and I have some, some questions for you because you, you are actually doing the story of your father. And it's not a, a, an easy story. How does it feel to, to do this kind of thing where, where it's part of your life? It's part of your legacy. I love it, you know, and it feels amazing because it was a journey, a long, long journey. Blood, sweat, and tears took me to get here. And I'm just so proud that people, um, excuse me, people are, are liking my work and, and people are liking the show. And, and I just hope that, you know, it goes off the charts because we really worked hard and long for this. Yeah, you've been working with Fifth, with, with Feeding on this, on this show as a producer also. Uh, this is your second role, and 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 you're doing an amazing an amazing job. And, and how does it feel to be to be part of the of the Detroit scene and working with Fiddy and, and and doing all that with with these amazing people that have a level of recognition, something like 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 Snoop Dogg, but but you're working on on this as, as just first. Yeah, it, it, man, it feels great, and it's really I'm I'm really blessed, like and appreciative to have worked with Fifty for my first project. And legends like 50, like he's a legend, musically, filmmaker. He's just a legend all the way around. He's a genius. And he, 50, got me before anybody ever believed in me. He came to me and told me he wanted me to play my dad before anybody came to me and told me that. And he believed in me and put me in acting classes and made sure I had the right support and a foundation and learn how to act for two years before I was ever just, you know, thrown to an audition. He made sure I was ready. And, and I, I respect him tremendously for it because he showed me more love than more than anybody you know more, more than my own some of my own family members he showed me more love to and that's one of a kind you don't get people like that around the world you know he's so genuine and just a, a real person you know yeah i understand that and and this this story it has so many uh levels would you have violence you have drugs you have sex you have Obviously, the hip hop environment. It seems like like all the platforms and, and, and media seems to to be really into that for telling stories. But in the end, this is a, a, a true story. This is the the story that happens in that in, in the eighties in, in Detroit. Have you learned anything new from that from from that uh, years that you didn't knew? Oh yes, I, I was I wasn't born to 2000, so I, I learned stuff that I wasn't. Even... I wasn't even thought of in 1980. So my dad telling me everything that they went through back then in Detroit in 1980s, it was literally like Iraq. Like it was like the murder, it was the murder capital of the world, but it was like baby Iraq. Like he, the stuff that they faced back then in the 1980s, nothing like 2021, 2020. They literally, it was the most violent, what they had to go through 15, 16 years old, walking to school or walking over dead bodies walking with holes in their shoes. I learned a lot just about the choices my dad had to make and the challenges he faced growing up at such a young age. He had to become a man at 15 years old. He was already paying his house, his bills. He was already paying his mother and dad's bills and they had jobs, but they couldn't afford to pay the bills. My dad was making more what they made in probably a year and a day. So it was different back then when you have to grow up so early and your parents trying to kick you out the house because they don't understand that you're just trying to pay the bills. You know, I didn't have to grow up like that. My, my dad made sure even when he went to jail, I was in private school. So I had to talk to him and understand where his mind frame was and where he came from to put myself in his shoes to be able to play him, you know, as good as I needed to. So it, it, it was different back then, man. I couldn't even imagine growing up living like that. Yeah, because you, you, you are come, you're, that's amazing that to, to hear because you are, you grew up in a Detroit that already had Eminem and everyone was looking to Detroit because It seems like 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 this uh, city where, where they have talent, but but they have talent in, in different ways since since before because they, they they have house music, they have hip hop, they have a lot of things. And and, and in this in this series, are we going to watch something from 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 their perspective, or are we only going to see its violence and drugs? And, and what do you think that that people will appeal here in Mexico? Because in the end. There are things that, that are not uh, as known in, in in different countries, but we want to see this series. Yeah, so people, people when people watch this series, 
they'll definitely see much more than just violence and drugs because that's not what this series is about. That's not what BMF is about. Yeah, they sold drugs. Yeah, it was violence in the community, but it would have been violence and drugs with, with or without them. You know, that was just what they were facing in the community. The series is about family, brotherhood, about soul, about a family that, that wanted to take care of each other. And it's about loyalty. It's not about drug dealing and all that. Yeah, that's what they did, but they did a lot of other stuff, a lot of good things in the community, created opportunities for people they didn't even know that's still reaping the benefits still to this day, like me. Have you already showed them the, the, the series to your dad and, uh, in, 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 and your, and your my dad? My dad hasn't seen it yet, but he's seen the trailer. He's incarcerated, and they, they have Stars Network, so he'll get to see it when it comes on, when it premieres the 26th, but he hasn't seen anything but the trailer yet. And what, what did he think about it? He loves it. He's so proud. He couldn't be more excited and more happy. Like He calls me, tells me that every day. He sounds different now. He's just, he's just happy and proud that his story is getting told the right way. I read that he, he got a reduction on, on his sentence, so I hope that Everything goes well with you, Demetrius, and I hope this BMF goes for another couple of seasons because it's, it's an amazing story that you are telling. I appreciate that, my man. That means so much to me. Thank you so much. 